You know it's a big story when we're getting reaction before it even airs. It's been that oh, all day, hasn't it? Really. It is a new option to help pets in pain. CBD oil derived from hemp does not contain THC, the compound that gives marijuana its psychoactive properties. But that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of safety concerns. Help me, Hank. Hank Winchester here now with what you need to know before considering this for your dog or cat. Yeah, and I mean, we're all pet owners. We're all dog owners. I didn't know a lot about this product, but just in the last 24 hours and talking with a lot of friends, people have said it saved their dog's life. Other people said they just don't know much about the product itself. Well, a Canton vet is sharing an important warning with you tonight. It's like he's getting his playful self back. 12-year-old Derby became a patient of Dr. Michael Petty to be treated for pain. He um, has been coming to see me for quite a long time for acupuncture and he's taking a drug called Galaprant and it's been helping him really well. Mm -hmm. But the owner had noticed about a month or two ago that he just wasn't doing as well as he used to be. Derby was experiencing, he was limping after walks and um, stiffness and wasn't as, um, he didn't want to go on walks. That's when Dr. Petty added CBD oil to Derby's treatment plan. Hi, hi Derby, how are you doing? Most people are using it for, is for pain. And so animals that have osteoarthritis or chronic pain from something else, it may be of great benefit. But while CBD oil is available for pets, there's not a lot of research on its benefit. There's only been one really good study done at Cornell and it did show that it had some benefit uh, in helping arthritis pain. Not all CBD oils are the same, and you want a high quality one for your pet. It's concentrated from large amounts of hemp. So there's an inherent danger when you're uh, giving the CBD oil in that um, it not only concentrates the oil, it can also concentrate impurities, things like uh, heavy metals that may have been in the, the soil that were taken up by the hemp plant uh, if it was sprayed with a uh, pesticide. And check with your veterinarian before giving. There are no dosing guidelines for this product and pets. People are going to be giving it at all sorts of doses for any sort of reason. When an animal comes in and it is painful, I am going to use tried and true methods. Sometimes these things work, but not quite well enough and we want to try something different and we'll try the cannabidiol for about two or three weeks to see if it helps. And for Derby, it has helped. We saw improvement. He um, is not backsliding as much, not as stiff as much, and he's definitely not limping. Anne's advice to other pet owners. I know you can find it everywhere, but I would trust going to, a, to your veterinarian and talking to him about it and seeing if it's going to, you know, is this right for my dog? Derby's a sweet dog there. I love a standard yeah. poodle. CBD oil is given orally. It can be pricey, but that's because you want to make sure that you have a higher quality product. Yeah, but you just saw Derby doing so much better. Derby's a great name for a dog. Right. Um, but because it's such a Wild West landscape of product, you really do need to talk this over with your vet. First. You do. And I think that's really the best advice. Any product that yeah, you're testing yeah. out, have a conversation with your uh, vet. The American Kennel Club says that there just haven't been many studies in regards to the risk and the side effects. If you want to see what the Food and Drug Administration says, we're regarding hemp and cannabis products. We have all that information on our website. Click on Detroit.com. All right, Hank. Definitely worth checking out. Thanks. Let's get